we're gonna do this video. One take, no cuts. We're gonna get right into it because it has been a long, long time since I've ever done a YouTube video. Uh, welcome back, guys. My name is Double Pulse, aka Steven. Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. <clears throat> I'm officially coming back. Now, <clears throat> I'll say, I never left. <clears throat> I was more like on a hiatus, taking a break. You know, trying to rediscover, figure shit out. And I'm gonna do this video, I'm gonna try to be as raw and authentic, no cuts, or very little cuts if, if needed, just to kind of save space and time. But I kind of want to talk about some stuff right now that's uh, been going on. As you guys know, first off, I'm in a completely new location. That is because we have just completed a move. I have just moved into a completely new uh, house. We lived in an apartment before. Now I'm in a new place and everything is right now in the process of uh, being unpacked. That's why it kind of looks a little messy around me, even though I don't know if you guys can actually see the the background uh but yeah what do i begin i am coming back to youtube and i've also resigned as a moderator on storyfire two statements that i don't think really should go very well hand in hand depending on who watches this video now first off i want to say i'm not necessarily leaving the platform at the moment but I will say that I feel like Storyfire has kind of taken me away from actually uh, getting into other opportunities and really focusing hard on my creative vision and exactly what I want to do. And the reason being is when you're so drowned in the hype and when you're, when you're looking for some brand new opportunity to, to sink your teeth into, you kind of ignore all the existing opportunities that you currently have sitting right in front of you. And that's why one of the things I've always said is you want to diversify, you want to put multiple eggs in different baskets, you want to do different type, types of content, you want a different kind of uh, experiment with different types of content. And for me, as of lately, this entire year, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna admit up to it, I've not done jack fucking shit. Now, I've not done jack fucking shit in the sense that Nothing I felt really is on my own personal channel. I've done shit when it comes to helping the business. And so maybe it's kind of like, maybe it's kind of half a true. Maybe I shouldn't necessarily beat myself up over it and say like, I haven't done anything because when you focus on what you haven't been done, have, what you haven't been doing this entire time, you kind of also ignore the small little achievements that you have been doing. Uh, but it really has come down to the fact that I was so focused and so heavily focused on creating narrative driven content and focus on one particular platform that I've completely, uh, you know, forgot out YouTube or bothered even trying to do YouTube. And one of the issues you'll notice is when you're not doing content for a while, whether it be for yourself because I've been doing content with other people. Um, I've been doing content with some friends who I really think are really cool people uh, for Phase Infinity uh, Entertainment. Like that's honestly been what the last focus has been for the last four or six months. That's why I haven't really posted on my main channel. Um, but when you not when you don't do enough content on your own, and you're not really pushing yourself to do your very best work, you start to slack off. And the longer you slack off and not posting anything, the harder it is to really get back into doing content. And there's no excuse for it because we have a lot of time in the day. We just choose to, you know, focus our time on completely different other things. So <clears throat> this year, I've been kind of focusing more I'm not necessarily stopping focusing on my mental health, physical health, and all that. But what I am going to do is I kind of want to reinforce that and really start going back to the building blocks as to why I started doing content in the first place, as well as why I um, why I even took a break in the first place. Because you could say you've taken a break for a while, right? 
and <clears throat> you set all these goals, but you don't have necessarily a mind in how you want to accomplish it. So I'm glad to finally be back on YouTube, uh, at least getting back in the flow of things. And the only way I'm going to get back in the flow of things is by making videos like this, or videos like commentary videos, or gaming videos, or content like, you know, unboxing videos, or really just staying involved with the YouTube side of things. And the other thing you may have noticed is <clears throat> one of the projects I've been currently working on that a lot of people probably know and I've worked on for the last couple of years is GT Online Stories. Now, I don't want to say GTA Online Stories is entirely done or dead. It is moving at a very slow pace because it's one of those things where I enjoy the narrative part of it and I enjoy the script and the story writing aspect. And I even enjoy <clears throat> the actual editing. But the part that I dread the most is getting in the game, dealing with all the shitty animations, uh, that you have to do for online and just the, just the process of getting things together, right? <clears throat> like, the process of doing that, as well as the repetitious of actual video editing, like, the Rockstar Editor part's cool, but the actual part of putting together a huge production at this moment where I'm only, like, the main person doing it outside of, you know, my voice cast and you know, the people that have offered to help with it, it's just, it, 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 it's, it's not, it's not something that I want to be the huge focal point anymore, at least not at the moment. Now, it's a project I'll continue, but it's not like a huge focal point. That is why I have also moved that content over to a secondary channel which is just GTA Online Stories. So, going back to a little bit with Storyfire, because I said in the beginning of the video that I, re I resigned as mod, and I am kind of in this process of deciding whether I want to stay on the platform or not. It is a tough call. The reason I decided to, to, to resign as mod is mainly for a couple reasons. I don't want to delve into too much, but there was just a lot of disorganization in the mod chat. Uh, there was just a lot of stuff that was being said, uh, being uh, leaked, being transferred. A lot of people on the social feed know about this. And that's one reason. Two, I want to focus mostly on my more creative visions. Um, building this channel back up, uh, building uh, Face Infinity, and the other one is I was just simply bored of it. I was simply just bored. I've been a mod for two and a half years, maybe going on to three, and it ends up taking a lot of your time in distraction, even if you're not really doing that much. Because what ends up happening is when you're a mod, or a valuable member in the community, you feel like you have to do more on that community or like you have more of a, an internal responsibility for it. And it's just not a responsibility that I want anymore. So I had resigned as a mod. I had that pretty much revoked within 24 hours. I had decided to nominate two different people for mods. One of them got it, uh, which is Sonata, the other one being Restivian, which I think both of them are really uh, decent fits. It, it took a lot of it of a, for me, it took a lot of different convincing to get to that point, I will admit, because I do feel like the, the, the current team going forward needs to have a bit of a, a, a balance between a yin and a yang, and I don't think that people should... Uh, let their own beliefs about certain people, you know, cloud their own judgments or prevent an open mind discussion for it. Like, I feel like people who think they felt like they've been wrong deserve a second chance. People who felt like they, you know, can offer something, let them offer it. If you know if they fuck up, remove it. It's not so hard. That's pretty much how I see it. Just, you know, let people who want to 
help the community out, help the community out, and not let it be dictated by just a few vocal minority, if you catch what I'm saying. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much actually what's going to wrap up this video. I really think that I am glad to be finally free and open to doing different types of content again. I want to get back into doing commentary videos. I want to get back into doing maybe gaming and discussion videos. Uh, it's really just something that I find that I talk a lot about on my own time with other people. Why not just get back into that own uh, creative outlet and the other reason too that I think a lot of people when it comes to this content creation and artistic and why it's so hard for people to make certain types of content is because they attach themselves too much to their own product and their in their own uh, in their own way of doing things so like if you're an artist you tend to attach your art to yourself or your art is sort of a reflection of yourself. And when you're trying to do content, you always look at other people's content and you're like, oh, you know, I can never see myself doing this because, you know, I'm not, I'm not the type of person who is interested in that. When you haven't even really given it any thought. So I feel like that's one of those situations where you have to detach yourself from your, uh, from your own content and understand that your audience may have different interests in mind than you do. And then find the sweet spot that both interests you and your audience. So that's pretty much all I have to say. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, I just definitely feel a little bit awkward making this because I have not made a video in a while, but I feel like this is probably better to do, and I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye.